What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am so excited for. Um, I just got my package in the mail here. It is my very first tarantula. It is a GBB, um, a green bodied blue. I'll put the scientific name on the screen because I cannot pronounce that properly. But it's a very popular one. I'm super excited to finally see it. I don't think it's gonna have any of its like full colors and everything yet because it's super tiny. But I'm super excited to unbox it here and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's alive. All right, so where did I put the box? I don't know if this is the best angle. I'm just gonna open this up here. So I just opened up the box here. You can see it's got some styrofoam up top. And this is in case your items get damaged, I guess. Oh, and it has a little tarantula care guide on the back here. We'll take that out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we get this out. It looks like it's nicely insulated so that it stayed nice and warm. So that's good for transport. Let's see, so you can see in there. So right up here is actually, this is actually some of the little roaches I got to feed it. And then I think I'm also, I got a few extra, so I might try to feed some to Petunia as well, my hedgehog, although they look super tiny, so I don't know if I'll be able to. But these are just 25 um, bladolateralis, bladolateralis roaches or rusty red roaches. So I just got 25 of those. I think it was like three or four dollars. So we got those to feed it. And for the moment of truth. So there's like a lot of packaging and insulation and stuff in here. And this is what he's in. So he comes in this little container here, which is neat. It doesn't look like there's any holes or anything though. So I definitely want to get this open right away. I also don't know the sex of my tarantula here because it's so tiny. So we'll find out in a few years and we'll let you know. But I figured out the perfect name nonetheless. We will be calling it Dennis slash Denise. Oh my gosh, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna get to a better angle and get him closer to his actual enclosure now to actually open it because I think I see him right on the back there. But yeah, I'm gonna get you at a better angle and we're gonna get this open. So this is his little enclosure here. You can see I'm just using some plain cocoa coir that's dried out now. Um, a couple pieces of cork bark, a little plastic plant here, and a little seed pod. So GBBs especially are known for webbing a lot. So you definitely wanna give them a few things in their little enclosure that they could use to web off of. So I just wanted to add a couple things. And we'll see if he's really vigorous about his webbing. I'll add a couple more seed pods or something in here. Aw, there he is. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So again, we don't know it's gender, I keep saying he. Dennis slash Denise. Oh my gosh. Look how adorable. So if you look real close, you can already see some of the blue on the legs. Really starting to come in. Um, I'm really excited to see the greens and everything start to really come in as it ages. Can you see I'm hanging out back there? So it's been a few days and he's already made a little hide area, um, dug out some burrows under one of the cork barks and he's continuing to web all around the entrance. Um, because he is sitting out right now, I don't really want to disturb him, but I might open it in just a minute and give you guys a little bit of an update of how he's doing after a few days. So as soon as I touched it, he just ran right back under his cork bark. But you guys could see just after a few days, he's already started webbing all around the entrance to his little cork bark hide there. 
So it's super cool to see that he has already started to web and make it home. At this point, we also already fed him two of the little roaches and he took those very quickly. So that's exciting as well to see that he's eating and webbing and doing well after a few days. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't already, don't forget to like and subscribe below and leave me a comment what your first tarantula was or which one you would like to have or if you don't like them at all. And either way, I will see you guys next time.